All right, what's good, guys? Welcome. Uh, my name's Poptavius. This is my Minecraft world. Uh, I've been building this for the last six months. Um, it's been a pretty heavy addiction, if I'm being completely honest. I've been playing this game a shit ton. Um, I've been documenting it all on my YouTube channel. And we've been doing it, like I said, for six months. So I kind of figured it's time to do a world tour. Because we've built a metric shit ton of stuff. So I just want a video where you're... New people coming to the series can kind of get a quick recap of everything we've built um, without having to watch every episode. It's just like a nice little check in. Hey, here's what we've done. And we're at the six month mark. So it just kind of makes sense to me. So here it is world tour. Um, so quick little bit of information on the series. I started this six months ago and it was originally gonna be an evolution series where we play through every version of the game so if you go back and watch old episodes i kind of talk with you know that sort of context where it's like eventually i thought we would update till we got to like the full release of the game um that's not the case anymore i'm pretty sure we're gonna just stay in beta 1.7.3 which is what we're in now um started in alpha 1.0.4 got to beta 1.7.3 and i just don't really feel like updating like i i like the old nostalgic feel of the world i kind of want to keep it that way and like the whole base has been like kind of themed around like old school minecraft like i like to build in a style that reminds me of when i first started playing the game so um yeah we're gonna probably stay in beta 1.7.3 forever unless i like ever get really unmotivated to play anymore then maybe we'll update but just so you guys know, just in case people go back and watch old episodes, that we're not updating to the latest version of the game anymore. But anyway, you spawn in the world right about here. Um, and we're going to go through all the builds chronologically because we started this world in alpha and slowly updated to beta. We only recently just got to beta 1.7.3. So I'm going to do every build chronologically. I got notes here. That way you can see what was built in what version of the game. Um, and I'm going to try really hard to do this quickly because I don't want this video to be hour, two hours long, any of that shit. So we're going to try to go fast. We'll probably miss some smaller details of builds and whatnot, but you got to do what you got to do. Anyways, episode one, you spawn right here. First thing we did was built this little hidey hole over here. And this ended up being our storage area. It's a storage area we still use today. Um, and it actually works as like the center point of the base so that in the sky out there, that giant railway that goes all the way around the base. And this is kind of the center of it, this storage area here. Um, but yeah, this was the first build. Um, there used to be a strip mine right here, but I blocked it off because um, we made a different one. But the next thing we built was this tree farm up here. And you'll see with all these older builds, they're very simplistic and blocky and um, let's be real, they're fucking ugly too. <laughs> I kind of like that because ugly builds give a really like nostalgic vibe, at least to me. Um, I kind of have been trying to make this um, base feel like the, the spawn of like a really old server from like 2011. Um, it, that just makes me feel super nostalgic. So the theme of the base is kind of like there is no theme, like I'll just sort of build whatever I want, whether it fits in or not. Um, Cause like I said, it kind of gives that nostalgic vibe when you do that. Um, but we built this tree farm next, then we came over here and this is all alpha 1.0.4. And I started digging into the mountain and I built this ladder over here that goes straight up cause I wanted to come out the top of the mountain so you could get up there easily. And I found just by chance this zombie spawner up here um so i made a quick little feather farm out of it i believe it still works i've never really used it ever i just wanted it there but anyways we get to the top of the mountain then i put this big wheat farm up here this was the next thing we built and this pokes down to the zombie spawner too um but yeah we made this giant ass wheat farm um i just started digging and flattening out the entire mountain to make this giant ass fucking room. And this thing's pretty big. Like you can see it from pretty much anywhere in the base, but you can see it from anywhere in the base. It's huge. So 
Yeah, and it's got the super old school way of doing wheat farms where you would just put all of this, all the wheat at eye level and have a flowing water source down the middle where it would all collect in here. Um, at least that's how I used to do it back in the day or back when I would go back and play old versions because I've done that pretty frequently throughout my Minecraft tenure. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't think the fence post method where you put fence posts under here worked back then. Well, in alpha 1.0.4, there were no fence posts. So anyways, I'm rambling too fucking much. We got to keep keep moving. Um, Yeah, built this wheat farm, just flattened out the mountain. Like the leftover bit of the mountain that was there, I just built around it. So there's this little chunk of natural terrain there. Um, and that was everything we did for episode one of 1.0.4. Then we, in episode two, we updated to alpha 1.1.2 and the only reason i picked that version was because they added crouching and trying to build all this shit without crouching was so annoying but first thing we did was we built um the sugarcane farm which is actually up there um i was walking down here to show the cactus farm we built that a sugarcane farm up there i'll show that in a second but then we built this cactus farm over here uh, it's just like a big step pyramid with sugarcane growing on it. I don't know why I picked sugarcane. It just looked cool, if I'm being honest. Um, it's kind of funny. There's sugarcane on the outside. If you had to guess, you'd be like, oh, this is a this is a sugarcane farm. No, it's a, it's a cactus farm. So I built this cactus farm, put this weird step pyramid thing around it. Um, the collection chamber is just down here. Um, it produces a decent amount of cactus. I haven't used cactus for anything, but you can see we got over a stack of it. So it kind of hauls ass. Um, then after that, we built the sugar cane farm, which is back up by the wheat farm. I should have shown that first book. <laughs> so back up here at the wheat farm, right over here is this little pathway. Um, and we did the same thing we did with the wheat farm. We did the same sort of build where I just put like this giant room into the mountain and then have it like overhanging off. And you can kind of see what the wheat farm looks like from the outside a little bit from over here too. It's just like a giant slab. Same thing with the sugarcane farm. I just dug through the mountain on that side and this side gave it an overhang. Um, and put a lot of sugarcane and this has been our main source of sugarcane for most of the series until just recently I'm just jumping so you can see kind of how big it is because we're not gonna fucking walk down there um, Then after that we built a new strip mine Because um, the strip mine was originally there was a tunnel to it in the storage room So I uh, I made a giant hole going to bedrock just over here So right here right where you spawn is the new the new strip mine. Uh, it's just a giant hole to bedrock. Jump down in the water. Um, but we don't use this anymore. We've since made another new strip mine. Because I love digging giant fucking holes into the ground for some reason. Uh, but yeah. It's just... I don't know. It's pretty straightforward. There's tunnels going this way and that way. It's slabbed off right now. Because there was like a slime chunk somewhere around here. And I'm trying to slab off all the slime chunks in the spawn area. Um, but yeah. Just a big strip mine tunnel. I dug out this giant area too because I love just doing super grindy shit that's really mindless, if I'm being honest. Because I love just booting up the game and play and putting like an audiobook on or a podcast and just doing something that takes almost no thought. <laughs> um, but anyways, next thing we built, let me look at my notes. Oh, is the library. I'll show you that right now. So right here is the library. It's just a big box that I put into the ground. So I dug out a big hole and then built this box frame around it. Um, you just go up here and the entrance is right in the middle of it. You can kind of get a view of it from the top. But yeah. Here's the, the library. Um, bookshelves are my favorite block in the game. They just look good with everything. Um, so you'll see, I kind of, I kind of tend to try to build libraries as much as I can, just cause I don't know something about spamming bookshelves wherever you can. Like it just always looks good, bro. Like I love doing it. <laughs> so yeah, here's a little library, uh, pretty cute, simple, straightforward. I like the way it turned out. Um, nothing too crazy in it though. 
Um, over there, I had a spot for an enchanting table for when we updated to, you know, the full release of the game. And we had, like, enchanting tables. That's never going to be added now, but I don't know. Fun little Easter egg, I guess. Um, then the next thing we built was the boat highway. So when I first started playing Minecraft, um, I remember going on YouTube and, like, watching videos of people making these boat roller coasters. And... For some reason that expired the idea to have like a boat, like a uh, aqueduct looking canal thing going around the entire base. That's that right there, this thing right here. Um, and you could just ride your boat along it and see the whole base as it develops, get better angles on your builds and shit. Um, so yeah, I made this giant floating um, boat highway going around the entire base. Uh, we'll go up there real quick. But yeah, it's just a little place you can ride a boat along. Uh, I actually never ride boats in it because boats are fucking annoying. But I do go come up here all the time just to look at builds and see how, how the area develops as we move along in the server, you know. But yeah, built that. And that was the end of episode two. And that was in alpha 1.1.2. Then for episode three, we update to alpha 1.2.6. Obviously, in Alpha 1.2.6, they add the nether. So, um, I made a nether portal room so we could go to the nether. That's just down here, this big box in the ground. It's just like the library. I just dug out a hole, put a box in it. Um, yeah, we'll go check that out real quick. All right, so here's the nether portal room. Um, it's just a big hole in the ground full of lava and fire pillars. And there's your nether portal. Nothing too crazy. Uh, after that, we made the art museum. So that's just right over here. Um, they had added at some point, like, most of the paintings in the game. So I just wanted a place to display them all. So I made this little building here. Dug out a giant hole through the mountain. That's kind of like what I tend to do. It's like, I just want to dig giant holes and fill them with things. Um, but yeah, this is just a little art museum. It's got every painting in the game displayed somewhere. Um, the torch spam in here is so bad, I'm sorry, but I kept having shit spawn in here and I didn't want to go through and actually fix it, so I kind of just spammed torches. Um, and it pokes out the other side of the mountain over here, as you can see. It looks cooler on this side because the elevation changes, so it's a taller building. Um, but anyways, we built that. Uh, then they had recently added fishing as well, so I made a little spot for us to go fishing just over here. So right here, right by the storage area, is a little fishing hole. Same design as this one, pretty much, except for it's made out of wood instead of stone. But yeah, it's just a little green area where you can come, go fishing. Just a cute little design, nothing too crazy here. That room wasn't there yet. Same with the room on that side of the wall over here. They're both, the art museum and the fishing hole are both up against newer builds. And I, it's so like that window wasn't there when we first built it. But we'll, we'll, we'll get into that once we get to it. Um, oh, then we built the mob farm. So I wanted a way to get more drops, obviously, for things like bone meal and whatnot. Um, and gunpowder and shit. So we made a big mob farm right over here. So this giant fucking skyscraper looking ass is our mob farm. I built it up there and then I just made this big skyscraper building looking thing uh, to cover it up because obviously a giant floating mob farm is very fucking ugly. And I like I, I do like things to look finished in the world. Um, let's press F3. So this thing fucking hauls ass. <laughs> it, it gets a lot of spawn. You just stand on that glowstone to collect the drops. Um, and it does work with spiders too. There's always one that doesn't die, but the other one will will go up against him and hit the lava still. Um, so I do get string from it, so that's kind of nice. Also, it stops working after a while. I'm not sure why. My guess is that it's slime slowly spawning, taking up like um, spots in the mob cap, but I'm not entirely sure. After like, you know, 20, 30 minutes, it slows down and then eventually almost stops completely working. Not sure why, but then if you just leave and come back, like reload the chunks, it starts working, hauling ass again. Don't know why, I'll figure it out one day. Um, anyways, after the mob farm, what did we do? Oh, then we did our Ubisoft towers. So all along the boat highway, we got these towers. 
Um, and they're just a way to get up to the boat highway really quickly. So like, let's say I wanted to go somewhere far over there. I could just walk there or I could just take this tower up to the boat highway and then walk along the boat highway to get there. But yeah, they're just access points to the tower. That's really it. I'll go up there and show you um, from up there so you can see. So you can see from up here, they're all along the boat highway. I think there's 12 of them. So there's like one here, one there, one there, one over there. If you keep peeking up or one right there, and there's one behind this building. So yeah, just all along the boat highway. So you can always access it because it's obviously just a giant floating fucking um, canal. It's like, you gotta be able to get up there somehow. So I made these. I call them my Ubisoft towers because they just remind me of like, you know, like those checkpoint towers where you can fast travel to that fucking unlock maps or maps in like open world games. Um, after that, what did we do? Oh, then we, that was the end of episode three. And then for episode four, we stayed in alpha 1.2.6. Um, cause I, I just had more shit I wanted to do in alpha and we, uh, built a few houses up here. I'll show you. So first thing we did in episode four was built these houses up here. There's this one here, this one, this one, and this guy right here. Um, they're all similar design except for this one. Um, this floating island here, uh, it was... That was like naturally spawned there so i just put this little brick house on top of it this is just a like a big watchtower thing so you can go up there and get a view of the entire base because if you stand in the middle there it like perfectly loads the entire base so you can kind of see the progress of everything as it develops from up there um and like i said this thing was like natural like leftover of the mountain so i just put it on top of it um we're not gonna go on the interior of all the houses i'll go in just a few throughout the world tour because they're all very similar and i don't want to waste our time but like here's a little kitchen a uh, little tv area um fucking dining table study area up here is like a bedroom i think yeah bedroom and you can see this was an alpha because we didn't have dye yet um so this is my the idea i came up with for a bed was just white wool and pressure plates um then another little study area right here it's got a balcony on it um yeah throughout the tour we'll go through a few of the houses but i don't want to waste our time going in every single building because they're all once you've seen one of my interiors you've kind of seen them all they're all very similar very formulaic um you'll see as we go through they're all very similar after that what did we do oh then we built this little uh greco-roman temple on the very top of the mountain so that's just over here So right here, we got this little uh, temple up here. Um, it was supposed to be a really big, cool, like fucking temple at first, but this is early on in the series. I wasn't used to the to the build height being so close. Um, so I actually start building this way bigger temple and then I quickly hit the build height, which is literally right there. That's at the very top of the build height. And I was like, fuck, we gotta like, we got to redesign this whole thing. So I redesigned it and I came up with this much smaller, cuter temple instead. I think it still looks cool. And like the base for the original temple, I just used as like a garden area outside of it. Um, yeah, that's probably one of my least favorite things about old versions of the game is the build height. Oh, I, I'm tempted to install a mod that just lets me build to modern build height. That would be so nice if I could just make all these builds like absolutely insanely tall and ridiculous, like, no, that'd be a nut. Um, but anyways, after that, sorry, I lost my place in the fucking notes. Um, Oh, temple showed that. Um, then we built this little collection of houses down here. So this is one of them. We're not going to go on the inside, but also I try to connect things to the boat highway as much as I can. So this one was kind of naturally up against it. So I've made a little pathway to it. Um, and you'll see that with the next house too. So we built this house. Then we built this one over here. It looks like a fucking barn. Uh, and this one, same thing. It's like right under the boat highway. So I poked a hole in the roof so you can just go up there from this house as well. 
Um, here, we'll show off the inside of this one because I think it's cool just for that reason. Um, little dining room table, TV area. And you can see it's just like the other one we showed off, but just slightly different, you know, just in a different layout. Kitchen area. Um, up here, I think it's just a big bedroom and balcony area. Yeah, there's a bed. And then up here in the attic, I got this little ladder here so you can get to the boat highway from it. I don't know. I think it's just a fun little Easter egg. It was right under it, so why the fuck not? Um, but yeah. Anyways, then we built this house right here. Um, yeah, pretty straightforward, classic -y looking house. I liked this one because it looked really... Something about this one, I was just like, this makes me feel like I'm playing Minecraft in 2011 again. Like, this is some shit I would build in 2011. Um, I made this little pond area, too, um, under one of the overhangs of the wheat farm. And then these two little brick houses I put here as well, just because they look cute. And it's a way to flex that you wasted your time getting brick. And after that, it looks like that was the end of that episode. Um, I literally have notes in front of me. I, you probably just heard me turn the page. <laughs> um, yeah, that was the end of episode four and the end of alpha. So then after that, we updated to beta 1.2 for episode five. And at this point, I was just having fun building stupid little houses. So I kept doing it. And down here was the next little collection of houses I made. So you got these guys right here. So there's this one, this one, this one, this one and this one uh i kind of like these ones because they're all on these little hills and to get to them instead of having a pathway up the hill you just go through these tunnels like this tunnel is the entrance to this house this tunnel is the entrance to this house um let's go on the interior of this one because i think it's the biggest let's see i think it has a good interior we'll see but anyways all the houses very similar as you can tell very similar kitchen area dining room area TV area, I don't know, some bookshelf spam. If you're ever not sure how to do an interior, just like spam bookshelves and paintings, and it's gonna look fucking dope. Um, here's a little bedroom. You can see, cause we're in beta now, we got dye finally, so we could make more fake beds that look a little more realistic. Um, and then, yeah, there's a balcony area here for this one. I think there's one over here as well. Yeah, two little balcony areas uh you can look off at the builds yeah this was this here this is all the shit we built and then for this section of the episode at least let's see after that um sorry looking at my notes oh then we built a new tree farm let's go take a look at that thing So over here, there's our original tree farm. This giant tower here is our new tree farm. Every floor in this building, there's three of them, uh, is full to the brim of oak trees because they added new saplings into the game so you can now get spruce. So I decided to make this, this one over here a designated spruce farm and this one over here a designated oak farm because um, both of these are big enough to where you can, you can, if you want a bunch of spruce, you can mine this whole thing and replant as you go. Um, and by the time you get done, the ones at the beginning are already growing back. And same thing with this one. It's so big that if I go through and harvest all of these, um, by the time I get to the end of the farm, the first floor is already growing back its trees and you can kind of just mine wood infinitely that way. Um, but I went super lazy with this building. It's a lazy building, the interior, even lazier. It's just jam packed with trees, no effort at all into how the interior looks. But the main star of this build is actually this rooftop area. So I built this whole thing and I there's just this big flat area on top and I thought it'd be cool to make a little village up here. Um, so this is what I came up with. Over here we got this little mossy cobblestone hut, little fishing area with some fucking snipers in it. God damn. Uh, a little fountain house right here. A little dick watchtower. Uh, at least it looks like one that wasn't on purpose, but after I built it, I was like, whoops. <laughs> um, and then this little house over here, nothing too crazy. I don't think there's anything over here. No, it's just a pathway to get onto the tower. 
and it's obviously connected to the boat highway so if you get to the boat highway you can come up here as well um here's the interior of one of the houses uh we don't need to look at it it's the same as all the fucking other ones but up here i like coming up here because it's actually a nice a nice view of the little village like i don't know it looks pretty dope random rooftop village ended up being one of my one of my favorite builds of being honest um yeah and you can get a decent look at the base too um you can get um you can tell like most of this stuff was built early in the series because everything was just like big and blocky and ugly as the series has been going on i've kind of just like naturally been putting more effort into the builds um i don't know it kind of just happens as you keep playing we're gonna ignore him um but anyways after this rooftop village oh that was the end of episode five so that was everything we did for beta 1.2 episode six we update to beta 1.3 uh and i move on to a different project so there's like two portions to this base the outside and the inside so there's a bunch of shit inside the mountain like an entire underground uh base as well so we're gonna go take a look at that now So we're back in the storage area and at the start of episode six i get this idea to build a little bedroom by the storage area so i did that um it's just a place where i keep like rare items and like uh gear for if i die um and then i dug these tunnels in every direction so i could access the storage area quicker from other parts of the base so like that pokes out the one side of the mountain that goes out to one side of the mountain uh and this side over here also just goes till it pokes out one side of the mountain um and these were just big empty tunnels and i got the idea to just uh fill up i wanted as you were walking through these tunnels to have like crazy cool builds on every side um so that's kind of what i started doing is i just started digging out giant areas and putting random builds in them um and this was the first one we did is this big inverted ass fucking step pyramid ass wheat farm thing um We've never used it. I'm never going to use it. It's just here to look cool. Like that's the only function it has is I just like looking at it as I walk by. Um, after that we did, um, then we made a railway to the sand outpost. I can show you that really quick. So the sand outpost we actually built a long time ago. I just didn't show it. I believe we built it in episode two. I just didn't show it cause it's far away. So I made this railway to get there. The sand outpost is just a place I was going to, uh, it was just this beach area that was sort of near the base where I would just fucking destroy the environment mining sand. So I made this railway to get there. It's like, I don't know, hundred or so blocks away from the base. So just up here, this is the sand outpost. It's just this little hut I made out by a beach and i've been destroying the fucking land out here one day when the base expands because one day here there's the base right there one day when it expands we'll have to come out here and fix this whole area because i absolutely pillaged it uh yeah this is where i'd come to get sand and it's a disaster but i made this little hut so i could collect sand put it there sleep there whatever uh, i also extended the boat highway this way and put one of those towers as well um what the fuck is that dude i don't know why that's like that anyways yeah this is the sand outpost we're going back to the mountain village or the mountain base so the next thing we built in here was this little area right here i wanted an outdoorsy area within the mountain base uh just because it's cozy and fun so i just built dug out this big room put some grass down trees a little fishing pond a couple huts and yeah i called it good um there's like picnic areas too um oh yeah i put this big uh balcony thing too because as we were digging this out we just happened to bump into the art museum so i put a big window up there and a balcony so you can enter through here and you can go up on this balcony and kind of look at the art art museum. Um, I don't know why. I just think it's fun to have these two builds sort of clashing with each other. Uh, especially because one's like outdoorsy and the other one's a fucking museum. 
Uh, yeah, just a fun little build. And then after that, we built the throne room. Um, so there's no real theme here to what I'm building. So I made this little area just because I needed to fill it with something. So here's a fucking throne room. Uh, I just put a big gold throne, some lava so I can intimidate people. Um, and at the end of all these tunnels, this is what it looks like, just so you see. It just pokes out the mountain and there's this little entrance way. So that's at the end of every one of these tunnels we're exploring. And then I got like a bed and storage just in case I ever need it. Um, after the throne room, that was the end of episode six for beta 1.3. Then we updated to beta 1.4 for episode seven. And this build, the, the wheat pyramid, inverted pyramid fucking thing, um, was so cool that I wanted to do it again with sugar cane. So I did. And I'm going to be honest. It's one of my favorite fucking builds. Uh, this is like the rare occasion on where like my weird build style like actually works usually i just make ugly things but every now and then i do something like this that doesn't make sense and i'm like all right this is actually cool um yeah it's just a big step pyramid with sugar cane i don't know same thing as the wheat one i've never used it i really don't need to but it looks fucking cool uh next thing we built was this library area like i said i love libraries because they look cool because books they're just so fun to spam all over the place they make things look great so here's a little library area um same thing with the uh park area we were digging out this hole and we ran up against the fishing hole from a few episodes ago so i was like fuck it let's make sure there's a balcony and some windows so you can see into it from either side uh yeah and it's just like ends up being a cool little vibe to be able to chill at this window and see these two builds clashing uh against each other again but yeah fishing pond library um after that what did we do uh oh yeah after that we did the dog house so another just really stupid build that doesn't make sense or have any point but i feel like that's just how you also got to play beta for the most part is you know the the game's way less dependent on like making giant farms and shit and like having the game play itself so it's like you just got to build weird shit so they had recently added dogs into the game and i found a dog while i was digging out that library so i decided to give it a dog house um and this is what i came up with uh i just got this idea for this big intimidating room with lava pillars and pathways going through it and i just decided this is going to be like his throne room where you keep the dog um so yeah here's our dog um he sits here forever i'm never gonna move him because i personally think dogs are fucking annoying as shit in this game and every time i've had one you just sit it down forever um after that let me see sorry i lose my place in the notes every time oh then we built the restaurant so over here at the end of the tunnel i decided i wanted a a weird like restaurant area that kind of has like you know like a dingy sports bar kind of vibe so i built this it doesn't look very dingy actually but this is the little bar area there's your tv your beer taps place you can cook your shit wash your hands uh nether portal i don't i really don't remember why the nether nether portal is there if i'm being honest but it's there um after that uh oh then we built a new mine so oh i'm sorry that was the end of actually the end of episode seven in beta 1.4 then we built the new mine but that was the start of um beta 1.5 in episode eight so this area here is the newest and current strip mine uh i wanted a bigger hole to our strip mine for some reason so i built this thing um, yeah, you just jump down. It's got a cool spiral staircase. Uh, and just in each direction over here is a fucking strip mine. Um, some chests to store shit. And we don't use the spiral staircase because that shit's slow. We have a hidden ladder over here. So after that, I added some shit to our storage area. Cause we've been digging out all this shit at this point in the series and i had so much fucking cobblestone i didn't know what to do with it every chest i had was full of cobble 
So he made this little expansion area to the storage to store more cobblestone. Um, and at some point, I needed to smelt a bunch of, or I, at, during this time, I needed a bunch of smooth stone too. So I made this new little furnace area to smelt more shit quicker. And because before this floor used to all be furnaces, um, they changed the texture to the current texture for the top of the furnace. It used to be smooth stone. Um, so I made that furnace area because that shit looked ugly after they updated the texture. Um, and then the next thing we built was this. And this is my favorite build in here by far. This is Vault Village. Uh, it's just a cute little village area um, within the mountain that I just think is so damn fucking cozy. And it's just fun to walk through. Um, we'll do a quick little tour of it. So down here, you got the mine area where they mine. Um, there's even a little mine entrance right there. Then we got this little fishing area right here. Up here um, is like all the residential and commercial houses. So like this is a shop. This is a shop. I think the rest are just residential buildings with beds and shit. We'll go inside this one. I believe this one's a flower shop. Yeah, this is the flower shop. You just got random fucking greenery in here. This tree I didn't build. It actually grew like that, which I didn't think it was possible to do, but it did it. I placed a sapling there for decoration and it grew into a tree. Um, here's a little well, little picnic area. Yeah, and then just a bunch of little houses scattered across it. Um, and this build was so big, it actually protrudes through the mountain. So if you come out here, you can exit the mountain base and this big stone structure is like kind of what resulted from it because it poked out the mountain. Same with that over there. That's part of a different build, but it's part of the um, mountain base that fucking came out of the mountain. So we had to cover it up a little bit and try to make it look nice on the outside as well. Um, anyways, that was Vault Village. That was the end of episode eight for beta 1.5. Then for episode nine, first thing we did was built the amphitheater. And this was the last thing we needed for to fill up the tunnels. So here's the amphitheater. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. I hate the stage area, if I'm being honest. I might one day go through and make something bigger and cooler. Um, but I also didn't want to put too much effort into it. Once I start have to start planning out my builds too much, I tend to start, stop having fun with the game. So my rough draft is always my final draft. And sometimes it works well, sometimes it doesn't. Um, but yeah, amphitheater area. And then after that, every portion of these tunnels was completely filled with the builds on every side. So we moved on to the next project. And it just made sense, like, in at least economic sense, to do something with a lot of cobblestone. So the next thing we built was this bitch. The, the giant railway that goes around the entire base. Here, let's actually go show it off from somewhere else. This is a bad place for it. So up here is the actual entryway to the railway. So this little tower here is how you get to the railway. It's just a giant minecart track that goes around the entire fucking base. And it's acting right now as our perimeter for the base. So my goal is to fill in this entire uh, perimeter with just so much shit. And I want this base to look absolutely ridiculous, jam-packed with stuff you know, congested, dense, tons of different build styles. I want it to feel like an old school server spawn, you know, from 2011, like I said before. Um, but here, we can go up here real quick so you can see. It's just a big fucking railway. Yep, here it is. Big railway that goes across the base in a circle. Um, next thing we built was... Oh, so that railway, because it took so fucking long to build, was the end of that episode, actually. And then we updated to um, beta 1.6 for episode 10. And episode 10 uh, only features one build. Uh, at this point, my, my projects were kind of just bigger. And so episodes would be like just one mega project. Um, but we built Millville next. And you've probably seen it already. It's the area with all the fucking wheat. Um, I'll go show you that.
So this area right here is Millville. And this is the closest I've been to like having a well thought out build. I feel like a lot of people play this game with like, you have like an idea in mind and you plan it out and you execute it well. This is the closest I get to that. And like, I feel like also people love to do shit like have lore within their world and like make their own world and like, I, I just don't tend to do that. I'm not good at like lore building and shit and world building. So it's like, this is the closest I get to it though. It's just a cute little village with a giant fucking windmill, some smaller windmills, and then some houses, a little market area, which is behind that. And yeah, this is where they work. They come here, they work, they work the mills, they grind up the wheat, they cook it into bread. Um, I'll show off the market area first, which is behind this building. So this right here is the market area. It's just a bunch of tents and tables in the corner of the village where they can come to sell their shit. Um, tables, flowers, monsters. That's not good because he could trample all this wheat. This wheat's all unprotected. Um, these are supposed to be hay bales. They're just yellow wool with fucking ladders. But yeah, little market area, pretty simple. I have a very simplistic, um, I, I tend to just build, have a pretty simple build design in general. I don't, I'm not good at making big complicated things. Um, we'll show off this thing next right here. Uh, this is the giant fucking windmill in like, you'll see, this is like the most realistic my builds get and they're still not realistic at all. But, um, this is like a big shaft. This is like where it, there's like a fake gear system up there and this thing turns and it grinds up the fucking wheat and you cook it in the ovens. Some fucking hay bales. Um, whoops, let's go up here. There's also this little balcony area that serves no purpose. I don't know. And up here, there's like a fake gear system. And it's just like a cool spot where you can look out at the world too. So yeah, this turns, this turns, that, and it would grind up the shit. Yeah, like I said, the most realistic my builds have ever gotten. To the point where I'm like adding fake gears. And then there's just this little area you can look out at the base. But yeah. Um, I don't want to look at everything in this village. Because it will take too long. But we can go peek in one of the houses and call it good. Um, let's see. I believe this one down here has the best interior. So let's fucking show that one off. Also, another little thing, over here in the very corner of the village is a house, a little mossy cobblestone house that I always forget exists. So, I don't know, wanted to show it off because it's there and it's really hard to see. You pretty much can never see it. I always forget it's there. But anyways, let's go to that house. So here's the house. We'll go in this one really quick. And there's four of these small windmills too, just so you know. Um, one big one, four small ones. And here's the house. Um, fucking really simple design, super bare bones. And this is all in beta 1.6. Study area, I think this is bedroom. This is a bedroom as well, yeah. Um, what's up here? A big bedroom full of empty space. And this is another study area. Yeah, that's one of the houses. We're not going to go in all of them because they're all just as boring. Um, what's it? Oh, this is the backyard. You don't need to see that. And I got, like I said, all this wheat's unprotected. So I got doors at all the gardens. So if shit spawns in there, it can't get out. But I guarantee you one of these is open right now. Because I'm so fucking bad at remembering to close doors behind me. Um, so one day this might all get trampled and I'll hate myself. But we'll see. Alright, and that was everything we did for episode 10 in beta 1.6. Then beta 1.7. Uh, finally, we get to beta 1.7.3. And first thing I wanted to do was make new farms. Because beta 1.6 and 7 changes some mechanics to where you can make... 
new farms, obviously with pistons and like the introduction of bone meal 1.6 or not bone meal, but the tall grass and being able to spam it on the grass makes it so you can get a bunch of flowers and seeds really easily. So first thing I built for beta 1.7 was a flower generator. So that's this area over here and calling it a flower generator is a little dramatic. It is a room with no torches in it. So you just come over here. This is a problem. So you just come over here, um, break these torches, spam bone meal, and then you get a bunch of flowers. There's nothing on the upstairs. Uh, I just made the floor, the building two floors because it looked better as a more prominent building. And next thing we built is we, I kept with the farm shit. So I was like, let's build a, uh, I just missed that chicken twice. <laughs> um, so I was like, let's build a sand duper. Fuck you. Um, <laughs> and this area, I just made this building as the sand duper building. Because I like to have all my shit like in a finished area. So here's the sand duper. And yes, I, I dupe sand. I do a few cheaty things. Uh, just because this this version of the game is like unbelievably grindy. I'm going to do anything I can to exploit it. So yeah, sand duper. I also do other cheesy things. Like when I go into the nether, I, I, turn, I go to peaceful. Just so you all know. Just because I fucking hate the nether in old Minecraft. I think it's horrible. It shouldn't exist. Um, so yeah, I go to Peaceful in the Nether. I dupe my sand. That's pretty much it. Um, then I just kept with the theme of farms. And I built a giant wheat farm. And it's a piston one where it, you, it opens the pistons. It floods the entire wheat farm with water. That was actually like the first redstone build I ever remember doing. Is like a big water wheat farm where it floods the field. Um... So I had to have one in this world because that shit just makes me feel nostalgic as fuck seeing it. It's just up here. So right here is our wheat farm. It's just like this weird walled off area. You come in here and it's got a bunch of fucking wheat and this shit is protected so we can jump on it and not worry about it. But let's go to the, t or you can see there's like these flower beds on the side, the lever to flood it's down there. I don't know. There's these little tiny trees on top of all these pillars for some reason. Uh, let's take a look at it from the top. Yeah, you can see here. Here's the water. Floods this whole thing. I don't know. I just think it looks cool from up here. Um, anyways, then after that, that was actually the end of that episode. So that was everything we did in episode 11. Um... After episode 11, we stay in beta 1.7.3 because at that point I was like, we're not updating this shit ever again. Um, and then we built this big wheat farm and we just kept with the idea of building piston -y things. So here we go. Here's a big, uh, did I call this a wheat farm? Bro, it's a sugarcane farm, not a wheat farm. This is a sugarcane farm. This is our current sugarcane farm. Uh, just build a big piston pushing farm thing and covered it in this weird castle exterior so you come down here you press this button and it floods you with fucking sugar cane uh this thing took forever actually because it's pretty fucking big um it gives you 13 and a half stacks of sugar cane so it obviously took 13 and a half stacks of pistons to push all, push all that shit um so it took me a while to actually make this thing um but yeah sugarcane farm uh then we started working on the brick village so this is our little brick house village i just like building little villages and corners of the base i don't know why um so this whole area was fucking barren but there was this natural dip to the terrain here so i flooded it and made it a little area where you can have these like lakeside houses and this is all shit that was shown off in the last episode. So it's really weird explaining it again a week later. Um, this was a... And then over here, I put a house. I put another house over here. And then I put one right here. And then... Uh, so this... This whole stone thing is the vault village and amphitheater protruding through the mountain from inside the mountain. And I decided to put some grass down, some fences... 
and just make it a part of the village. And I think it makes it blend in with it really well. I then added these windows too, so you could see inside to it. Um, but yeah, let's go look at the inside of the biggest one because the biggest one is the most fun. We're not gonna go on the interior of all of these, but they do all have interiors. Um, they're just not very exciting. I'm not great at interiors. So, you know, I kind of found a simple design that works and I've just been copying it. Um, yeah, this is the biggest house. And this is like phase one of the village. This is what we're working on currently right now. So this is pretty much the end of the fucking world tour. Um, I want brick village or brick houses all the way around that area, all the way around again. Like I want it to be so big and massive that you look at it and you're just like, how the fuck did this loser get all this brick? Like how on earth did he waste so much time of his life? Um, but anyways, here's the interior dining room table, kitchen, Bookshelves, paintings, spam, um, TV, bedroom, computer. Uh, over here is a bathroom. I've never made a bathroom before, but here it is. Toilet, little sink area. That's a mirror. Um, then you go upstairs to the second level. You got another living room area with the TV, little table, and then another bedroom. Uh, and out here is a balcony area. So yeah, you've officially seen it all, or at least most of it, almost all of it. This is my Minecraft world. Like I said, this has been something I've been working on, like an embarrassingly, like I've been committing an embarrassing amount of time to this for, fuck, six months. Like, so I figured it's time to show it off, give people one place to look at it. Oh yeah, and in terms of play time, I, they didn't track statistics obviously in, uh, alpha they added statistics in beta 1.5 i updated this world to beta 1.5 in november so since november i have 13.1 days played in this world now november december january it's like so for the second three months of this world existing i've played 13 days but i took a break from the world in december and i actually didn't play almost at all for all of december so if I had to guess, the first three months compared to the last three months, I was probably playing way more than 13 days. My guess is that this world has over 30 days played, but I don't fucking know. I have no way of figuring it out. Maybe there is a way to figure it out, but I don't know how. Um, and you know, how much of that play time is like me AFKing at the fucking mob farm? I don't know, man. But if I had to guess, it's probably around 30 days played. Yeah. But anyways, hope you guys liked the video. Hope you enjoyed seeing the world. My name is Pop Davius. I'll see you guys some other fucking time.